Listen to the sound of thunder Rolling in the soul down under Most of the ideas, they don't, you know, they don't start here, you know, while I'm sitting in my office. They start, you know, on a trip, uh, on, on holidays, um, in a pub with colleagues, you know, there um, lots of ideas are born, right, and then we execute them here. I'm a computer scientist by training and my special focus area is human-computer interaction. So I'm interested how people interact with their computers. The question is how to bring like a map to a, such a small device like a, like a smartwatch. A source of inspiration you can see here that is called responsive layout. It's the same strategy you use to adapt a website on a desktop to a mobile device. Here, these maps from the um, American Automobile Club, they also linearize these long trips through the states. So you had like a perfect guidebook in your car and not a large 2D paper map that you cannot really operate while driving, even so driving in the US is uh, kind of boring and slow for German. As a mobile application, you can select uh, the map or the route you would like to go. I create, create stripe, I have the stripe, I push it over. At the turning point then you see the cut indicates the direction and angle of the turn. I love the things I, I do, I, I love my research and I'm also addicted to maps, so I have a huge map collection at home. We also evaluate our research prototypes in the wild, but I'm also old-fashioned. If I go to the mountains, I always have a paper map in my, in my bag because there's a certain limitation still today. You all know it's battery life, right? And I don't want to end up somewhere in the Alps or somewhere in the Hohe Fen here without a map, without knowing where I am. I recently had this discussion, you know, last night with my wife and she said, I'm a bit scared, you know, if I have a device that can measure my heartbeat because I don't know, you know, who's measuring my heartbeat at, you know, at, at a certain point. So it's our responsibility as computer scientists to make sure that this personal data will stay personal. But I believe that um, there will be a good and positive future. So I'm, I'm a positive guy.